Number of the day, number of the day, which number will it be? Number of the day. Well, that was very tuneful. And look, our number is number 15. Can we find it on the number shapes? So remember that the number the uh, the number one in fifteen means we need one ten, and then the five means we need five ones. So we need a ten and a five. Can you see it on the number track? I think you found it here. Well done. Okay, let's see what else the number fifteen looks like. So the number 15 is the same as, oh look, now we need uh, three hands. We need three hands to make 15 because each hand has a five. That's 15 and that's 15 using the number shapes. And that's how you write the word 15. Now, I wonder if you can think of a number that is fewer than 15. So remember, think of all those numbers that become before 15 on the number track. Can you think of any? I thought of number nine. I wonder if you thought of number nine. Now, if we count up to 15, but then we keep going, every number that comes after 15 will be more than, will be bigger, greater. So I wonder what number you can think of that's more than 15. You're going to think of a really big number. Try and think of a number that you think no one else would have said. I thought of 40. There's the number 40. I think that was for someone's party. OK, so we've done um, fewer and we've done uh, more. Uh, I wonder if we can do one less and one more. So 15 can go in the middle there and there's our number track. You find 15 and look at the numbers that come one less, so just before, and one more just after. There we go. So one less, yeah. You have to think of the number that you say before you say 15, and that's the number 14. So now we want to do one more. Think of the number that you say if you keep counting after 15. So if you had 15 sweets and someone gave you one more, you would have 16. Well done. And look at a little number track, 14, 15, 16. So here are our 10 frames. And remember, we know that we're going to need two um, 10 frames. I wonder if you can remember uh, when we looked at the number at the beginning with the number shapes, that might help you work out what it will look like on the 10 frames. So we're going to need four and one more makes five. Remember, five is always one line of our 10 frame. But we know we're going to need six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten. And we need to keep going. We're not at 15. So we're going to need our second 10 frame. 11, 12, 13, 14 and 15. And do you remember when we looked at the hands that we needed? Three hands to show all of the 15 fingers. And there we've got three lines of five, which is like having three hands, each with five fingers on. OK, let's use our part, part, whole model. And remember, the whole is our number of the day. And so we're going to need 15. Now, if you do this at home, you can um, move the counters, whatever counters you use, into the parts. And you can have whatever parts you like, as long as you move them all out of the whole, all out of the circle that's the whole. So move all 15 counters, some into one part and some into another. And um, we always do 10 as our first part on number of the day. But I wonder what yours would be. So if we've got 10 as one part, the other part must be 5. 
well done. Have fun playing with your numbers. <laughs>